G'day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. Today we're just going to do some return to home tests with the new DJI Air S2. I like to do these tests whenever DJI releases a new drone. Now the Air 2S does have precision landing, so it's going to scan the train as it's taking off and try and match it up as it's landing to land in the exact same spot. So we'll test that out today as well too. Now there's three different types of return to home. There's smart return to home, and that's basically if you initiate it yourself by pressing the return to home either on the controller or within the fly app there's a low battery return to home so if you uh, get to a certain point it's going to intelligently decide when it needs to return to home depending on how much power it thinks it needs to get back the other return to home is a fail safe so if the drone becomes disconnected from the controller it's going to uh, return home now with the fail safe return to home i think it's seven seconds i believe it says in the manual it'll wait seven seconds and then what it's going to do is reverse about 50 feet along the same path to try and reconnect first if it can't reconnect, then it just comes on home. So today we're testing just the regular smart return to home, and we're going to test out the fail safe. We're going to power off the controller and uh, see what it does. Now, it's always a good idea before you take off, make sure your home point is set correctly. You can bring up the map by clicking in the left-hand corner at the bottom there. You can bring it up. You can see we have the blue dot. That's myself. You can see the triangle, the blue triangle. That's the aircraft and the H there behind the aircraft. So you can see there that our home point is set correctly. According to the manual, in order to use precision landing, you have to go up vertically at least seven meters. So that's what we're gonna do here. So you can see there, I'm now at 9.2 meters. So it should be mapping the train right now and we can now go ahead and fly horizontally. So let's just go out here. We'll just give ourselves some distance and some height. There it goes there. We'll maybe go to a distance of a couple hundred meters. So there we go. That looks good there. So there's two ways we can initiate a smart return to home. On the controller here, you can see we have our return to home button. We can press and hold it or we can use the icon on the screen on the very left hand side, that little H with the arrow. When we press it, you can see it gives us two options. It gives us the return to home, or we can just land in place. We don't want to land in place, that's for sure, but I'm just going to do it on the controller here. I'm going to press and hold. So you can see there it now says return to home, and we can click on the X there to cancel it if we need, if there's an emergency, or we can press the pause button there on the controller as well. Now, I didn't mention it there, but it's always a good idea to set your return to home height higher than the tallest obstacle in the area. I have mine set, I believe it at 100 meters, and I think that's what the default is. And there's really nothing higher than 100 meters around me, so I just left it at that. But I'll show you that when the drone gets back, how to do that if you're not quite sure if you're new to drones. So, the drone is pretty well above us right now. I'm going to put the camera down. You can see that the little crosshair is pretty well over the landing pad out there in the field. So far it looks good. It should correct itself once it gets a little bit closer and it can pick it up. You can see it smack right over top of it, so that's good. Puts the camera up there, and that way you don't accidentally damage it because it hits something. And there we go, landed right on the pad, so that was perfect. Now one thing I do want to mention here as well is according to the manual, if the train changes, it could give you an error. You might actually get a message up on the screen saying that it cannot do a precision landing. So that's something to keep in mind, and that can even be as simple as you standing too close to the takeoff point. When the drone comes down, if it thinks that the train has changed or something is unsafe, it won't come down and fully land. It'll just sit there and hover. So let's do another test here. We'll go up to our seven meters so it can... Uh, set the precision landing so we're at 11 meters now we're just gonna go and fly again but this time what we're gonna do is do a fail safe 
maybe we'll go over here this time and uh, that should be good I don't want to go out too far in case something goes wrong here so fail safe is basically if your controller gets disconnected from the drone for whatever reason either you've flown out too far perhaps there was an obstacle in between that broke the signal or even the controller itself just happens to die because maybe the battery wasn't fully charged if the drone does become disconnected from the controller it will come back to you as mentioned it will try to reconnect first according to the manual it will back up 50 meters to try and reconnect and if no connection it will just come back so let's go ahead here and we're going to power off the controller and the drone right now it's going to wait seven seconds i believe it is and then it should start moving back to try and reconnect it's always a little nerve-wracking doing this because uh, you just don't know and that's why it's important also to make sure you always check your return to home point because you want to make sure that the return to home is always set correctly and uh, i'm not quite sure what it's doing i can hear it off in the distance still so it should be close to heading back soon and actually i can hear it now so yes indeed it is heading back what it will be doing there is going up to the return to home altitude because i think i wasn't up that high and yep there it is now it's right above us now I don't know if you can see it up there, but it is straight up above us. It's on its way down now. There it is there, that little speck. And I can't tell on the camera if it's over the pad or not, but it should be. Looks like it's pretty well right over top. The wind is blowing it around a bit, so, you know, that could affect it. Looks like it's not going to land. I think the wind just kind of blew it around too much, so it th thinks it's a little unsafe. But that's okay. Let's go ahead. We're going to power up the controller here again. And it should just go ahead and reconnect. So yeah, you can see it's connected there and it already has a message up on the screen. Area under aircraft unsuitable for landing. So we can just go ahead and land it manually. So yeah, it was right over top of it, so no issues there. So these safety features that they have are really nice and it gives you a little bit more peace of mind. If something does happen while you're flying, you become disconnected now just a few things before I go here just if you're new to uh, flying drones uh, the DJI drones the Mavic Air 2 and the Mavic Air 2s this also applies to the DJI Mini and Mini 2 if we go to our settings there at the top right hand side you can see this first tab here is safety the one thing you want to always check is to make sure your auto return to home altitude is set right by default it's set at 100 meters but if you're flying around things that are taller than that, you might want to set that up a little bit higher. Or you might even want to bring it down. You know, if you're only flying around trees that are 30 meters, you might want to just set it around 40 meters. That just saves you a little bit of battery power. That way it's not flying all the way up too high where it doesn't really need to be. Uh, but the important thing here, if you need to update your home point, and you may have to do that for several different reasons. If you're out for a hike or you're going for a walk in a park, you may take off from one location and uh, by the time you're ready to land, you might be, you know, 100 meters to 300 meters away. You don't want to have to go back and pick it up. But more importantly, if your drone happens to become disconnected, you want to come back to where you are, not to where it took off from. So if we go to that option there, update home point, you can see here, it shows us where the home point is. It shows us where we are. It shows us where the aircraft is. So at this point, we can actually just drag the home point around, as you can see there. Doing that is a little bit uh, risky because you really don't know where you're setting the uh, home point. There's two ways to do it. There's two different types of home points you can set. You can see we have a triangle on the right hand side that represents the aircraft. So you could set that as the home point or where the controller is. So if we select controller, we hit OK. You can see there on the screen we get a message that it's updated the home point. So it just updated the home point for where I am right now. So yeah, that is a return to home with the DJI Air 2S works great. I never really doubted that it would. All the DJI drones have really good return to home capabilities. Uh, the DJI Mini doesn't have precision landing per se, uh, but it's still fairly accurate. Usually you can get it to land within, you know, 
anywhere from a couple feet to 10 feet from where it took off from. And at the end of the day, that's all that's really important. You just want it to come back to your general location. Well, folks, that's basically it for my video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.